The Philippine government has been facing mounting pressure at home from its citizens due to repeated provocations from China in the South China Sea. President Duterte has been trying to defuse the conflict by wooing the Chinese Communist Party, known as the CCP in short, and the defense establishment is increasingly dissatisfied with the president's concessions to the CCP in the region. This started with the Hague arbitration in 2016, where the Philippines accused the CCP of violating the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, also known as UNCLOS, by claiming maritime rights based on the Nine Dash Line. The Nine Dash Line is a demarcation line used by China and Taiwan in the South China Sea, consisting of various contested islands like the Spratly Islands. However, this has never been formally claimed. Hence, the Philippines accused the CCP of violating UNCLOS due to its activity in the area, and then filed a complaint with the Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague. On July 12, 2016, the court issued an award in support of almost all of Philippines' claims on issues related to the case, and the tribunal's five arbitrators unanimously ruled that under UNCLOS, the CCP has no historic rights to the natural resources of the South China Sea based on the Nine Dash Line. The tribunal also found that the CCP's land reclamation in the South China Sea had caused irreparable damage to the environment and asked the government to stop its activities in the sea. However, five years later in 2021, there have been heightened maritime activities conducted by China, with more than 200 vessels pictured at the Whitson Reed in the South China Sea. In a statement released on 3 April this year, Delphin Lorenzana said that there were still 44 Chinese vessels at the Whitson Reef despite improved weather conditions. He said, I am no fool. The weather has been good so far, so they have no reason to stay there. They have done this before at Panatag Shoal or Bajo de Masinlik and at Panganaban Reef, brazenly violating Philippine sovereignty and sovereign rights under international law. On July 19, 2021, the Philippine Coast Guard said that a Chinese Navy survey vessel entered Philippine waters while a Filipino patrol vessel was patrolling around the Spratly Islands. The Chinese vessel maintained its course, speed, and radio silence, forcing the Philippine vessel to come within earshot and use speakers to issue a warning. Only then did the Chinese vessel change course and leave the area, accompanied by the patrol boat. On July 26, President Duterte delivered his last State of the Nation address in office, reiterating his country's reluctance to go to war with the CCP over territorial disputes in the South China Sea and calling Xi Jinping a good friend. Referring to the arbitration at The Hague, he asked his countrymen, Do you want war against China? Well, I'll tell you, even on the coast beach of Palawan, before you can take off, the missile of China would be there in about five or ten minutes. However, retired Supreme Court Justice Antonio Carpio refuted the president, saying, That's the reason why we went to The Hague, because war is not an option, adding that the CCP cannot repudiate an international arbitration on the grounds that it did not attend because it already signed to UNCLOS and ratified the convention in 2006. He added, when you ratify UNCLOS, you give your consent in advance to any future dispute under UNCLOS settlement mechanism. China has only itself to blame, and it knows that.